I thought I turned you off. Where's the button? There. Alright, what is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Irmasa and welcome back to Space Engineers. Turns out my camera today wanted me to share a design I've been working on for a while, so I guess we'll check that out. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, let's get into that. Alright, so f first things first, before we start with the design, I'd like to give a shout out to two designs I found on the workshop that um inspired my design today, and they're both right behind me, so... Yeah, if you feel like it, try and support them. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at these. Uh, Alright, so this first one here is by Gus... Gus Tar. Uh, it's the AH6 Little Bird. If you don't know what that design is, I'll have some pictures up on screen now that you can um, compare to but um yeah th this is their design it's pretty cool it has the aerodynamic wing or plane parts mod on board the seats though are your normal seats on rotors i still don't know how he did that without affecting the collision box but from this one i basically took everything from basically that front part up there back in design terms like for the shell shape and everything all in all it looks pretty cool this other one over here, I nicked the design for the canopy and turned it, turned it into glass. It just to get that kind of bubble cockpit kind of shape going for it. This one's designed by Jura Seven. Um, it's the No Mods AH6 Little Bird. It's an older design because it runs off reactors, but it's pretty neat. I'm pretty sure it's a remote control one too. Either that or the seat isn't there anymore. But yeah, it looks pretty neat. So these are what inspired me, inspired me to make my design. So. Let's go check out the one I created. Alright, so the one behind me here is the stripped down version of the AH6. And the one over here is the completed version of my Type A, the most basic version of it. But uh, yeah, let's have a walk around. As I said before, over there, I nicked the canopy to get that kind of smooth curve shape come for it. And I nicked the shape of the hull off the uh, other one. All in all, it turned out to be pretty good. Like, it looks damn near exact, if not close to what we can manage in Space Engineers. But, uh, yeah, the only mods I have on this thing, as far as I can tell, is the captain's control seats, the uh, long range spotlights by Auto MCD, and the plane parts and aerodynamic wing parts, I think, for all the helicopter parts and the hull armor. Uh, with all 
dented designs I try to do I incorporated navigation lights so you don't need to worry about setting those up. The standard version only has four seats. It comes with a flare launcher which they all do because with the rise of um, uh, weapon core I kind of figured people would need something like that. Um, you've got four LCDs in here. I didn't put one back here because, you know, you, did, you don't want to be looking up here and accidentally fly into a mountain. So they're here for any script or any information that you require. Visually outside the cockpit you can see is pretty good. It is open because, you know, Space Engineers doesn't do too well with uh, doors. So, that's a thing. Um, all in all, it works pretty well. It doesn't have any wing blocks on it, but that's kind of on purpose. Um, as for the internals, the first outer layer is batteries. So, you have uh, eight batteries on either side under this cowling bit here and then under that is an extra battery two fuel tanks two gyros and the engine and that's all connected through cargo containers the connector and the flare block as well as um going out to the pylons. Um, it also has a programming block, so if you want to fly this thing um, with heli assist or any other f flight mod, you can. Uh, it has plenty of thrust in every direction, though I'm pretty sure I need to take this one out. But You've got your forward, your back, you've got your downward facing, you got your upwards in the main rotor, and you got left and right on the tail. It's pretty quick and maneuverable. Um, just bump the mic, sorry. Um, but the only problem I have is that in turns, as I'll show you later, it kind of uh, overcharges. It goes to 100% power usage. I haven't figured out how to fix it yet, but I'm assuming it's got something to do with this block. So I'll have to test that out and see what's up. Uh, the lights themselves, as the mod suggests, long range, pretty good. Like if I go to night time here, it goes all the way across. Just from a tiny light, so that's pretty sick. As I said, this one is my Type A, which is just your basic one. The Type B is the one that I mounted some weapons on via that pylon. You can mount whatever you want on there as long as it has a small block connection to it. So it's pretty easy. And the Type C is just the carrying version. So that's all th three of them. Type A, B and C. Each one is identical other than what's actually on the wing here. As for the connector, if I bring it up here to the landing pad. The skids are a little too narrow, I know this. Oops, wrong button. But, um, it w works out pretty well. I just gotta line it up properly. So, you get the mag block effect. And then from there, you can just connect away to it. Um, as for flight characteristics, 
it's it turns on a dime left and right pretty fast up and down pretty good as I said the programming block can be used for the heli assist script which requires at least one downward facing thruster or upward facing thruster or something I haven't figured it out yet but I just fly this thing off the thrusters it has but it tops out at about 120 meters per second if you use um, the relative top speed mod in a world that has a speed or a skybox that has a speed mod attached but yeah in the turns so sometimes it'll overcharge but good news is it might actually stop on a dime if you throw it into a turn um aside from that the total aircraft gross weight dry is 1900 kilograms possibly 20,000 if you add fuel and other um, elements like ammo and extra crew members and, the, and such but um yeah that's my H6 design I hope you enjoyed I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy it, um, let me know if you'd like me to try and upload these to the workshop on Steam and I'll, um, yeah, catch you with my next design later, eventually. <laughs> As always, I hope you enjoyed, um, feel free to leave a like and a comment if you did. Feel free to consider subscribing if you're new. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.